Good evening, lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, it's lovely to see you again. And if you're new here, then welcome. My name's Sophie, and it is a great pleasure to have your company this evening. So this is an unboxing of a Mulberry purse. It's just a little purse, a little zip around purse um, that I ordered from Farfetch. So all I've done is just taken the address label off, as you can see, it's still sealed. So let's see if I can finally figure out which way to pull the, so we seem to get it wrong for some reason. Is it this way? No, I don't think it is. Is it that way? Oh, I don't know. So I just pull from both ends. Oh, hang on. Is that right? No, oh, every time. <laughs> Honestly, uh, there's no way to tell either because they just look the both that's set up. Uh, uh, they just look, what am I trying to say? They just look the same at both ends. Or the both at same ends, which is what my brain was trying to make me say. <laughs> See? It's going to have to shove my finger under, I think. There we go. Let me just get my, if I can find it, my parcel. Unboxer. Oh no, I think I'm gonna have to stand up. These scissors will do. Alright, okay, so let's just. That's one side. rid of all the documentation so that's what the box looks like just a standard far-fetch dust bag over the top of the box so let's get rid of the, the box okay so Standard Mulberry. Oh, I'm not doing very well today, am I? Less haste, more speed, Sophie. <laughs> okay, so standard Mulberry box. Let's get rid of this cardboard. And then, oh, the lid's quite tight. And then inside just looks like that with the usual Mulberry tissue. And then there's just a little far-fetch tag. Doesn't mean anything, I don't think, really. And then the wallet, have a little purse. Is here. Gosh, honestly, what's wrong with me today? What it looks like black leather. Leah, what are you doing? Oh, you two, come on. The cats are just chasing each other. Just ignore them. <laughs> so, nothing else in the box. Let's put that up there. And then this is a closer up sort of shot of the wallet. I think this is heavy grain. And it still has the plastic over the. Can you see that? still has the plastic over the metal but I like these little zippy wallets because they have mulberry they have the tree and I think that says England it's just yeah so it has sort of all all the possible branding um on there that it could have and then it just has the two little sort of rivets here has a tone on tone metal zip which is the same colour as this um, plaque. It has the leather zip pull, which I won't undo this yet. I just want to make sure that this little purse is okay first. I'm just gonna, 
yeah, it seems okay. I mean, the zip's stiff because it's new. So that's what it looks like on the inside. So let me just quickly get rid of all the cardboard. And then it has the product tag was inside one of the card slots. So that's what it says. It's just the plain mulberry green with the gold branding on the back. And then on the inside, it's almost like a, like a burgundy colour, which is beautiful. It's not dissimilar to the Chanel pieces where there's, um, you know, black leather and then burgundy on the inside. So that's lovely. And it has a slot, then a card, then another card, and then just a, you know, section. You've got a middle section and then you've got, where's the branding? Is it going to catch the light or is it the other side? Could have sworn I saw some branding. Oh, it's there. So then you've got the mulberry tree there and it's just the same on both sides. So you've got sort of two or three card slots, depending on whether you use that as a card slot or just a patch pocket. And two or three again on the other side. It's the exact same layout as a Louis Vuitton zippy coin purse, which is why I know that I like these little wallets. Even though I'm not overly keen on cards and cash mixing and sort of rubbing against each other. I find that with the, I don't carry much sort of cash around with me anyway, to be honest with you. Um, maybe a few coins, maybe the odd sort of £10 note, something like that. Um, so for me, these are ideal because it just means that when I've only got a few cards to carry and I want the option to be able to carry some coins, I can do. And then it just has the leather gussets at either side. So yeah, for anyone that was interested, I really hope that that was helpful. So there you have it. That's my unboxing of my new Mulberry Zippy coin purse. I'm not quite sure what it's called actually. Let's have a look. Mulberry plaque small zip around purse. And it's the small classic grain in black. So there you have it, guys. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching as always. Take care. Bye bye.